let's discuss uh, UFI calling convention. So all functions defined in the UFI specification are called true pointers um, in a way that is common and architecturally defined as in uh, calling conventions, which can be found in C compilers. Pointers to global functions like uh, runtime uh, services functions, but boot time um, services uh, functions are located in uh, relevant uh, uh, service tables. So runtime service table and boot, uh, boot service table, as well as, uh, and those, those uh, tables, pointers to those tables are in EFI system table. Pointers to other functions are obtained dynamically through device handles, and uh, all pointers are prepended with, um, with the word EFI AP, API, and that helps in um, adjusting every, in every environment, uh, correctly adjusting to, to the calling convention uh, used on a given architecture. Uh, when passing pointers as arguments to function, there are some rules. Um, first of all, um, it, the pointers should be always to physical memory. Uh, those pointers should be correctly aligned. Um, there uh, should be not, uh, uh, the, the caller should make sure that uh, not passing null uh, unless it is allowed by the specification. And there should be no assumption about the pointer state when uh, when functions call uh, returns an error. So yeah, if we pass the pointer and, and we call the function, function just fails and we should not assume anything about the content of the, uh, of the memory behind the pointer. Uh, structures bigger than four bytes on 32 bit processors and eight bytes on 64 bit processors will be passed by pointer. Um, and uh, in, it is very important to note that, um, that UFI uses its own um, data types definitions for um, unsigned integer integer. So it use uh, uint u n, uh, uint eight uh, with the capital letters and so on. So this is something that you have to use to when you're doing development under UFI. Uh, 